Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel on the Crafty Northerner. Uh, we are just doing a couple reviews today. Um, I do already have these in bags. Um, I did take them out. One is from AliExpress and the other one is from DIY Choose. Uh, <clears throat> anybody that watches Floss Tube or any other videos will recognize these two patterns and that would be European Town and Victorian Wharf. So we'll do the Victorian Wharf one first. And this is not a very good picture. It is very pixelated but anybody that knows floss tube or cross stitching will recognize this pattern. It is an 11 count as your product code 100 by 73 and 407 by 135 stitches. Of course, you got your standard instructions sheet how to separate your threads, your different kind of stitches, how to clean iron when you're done with it. And this comes with 50 colors. There's the symbols. The pattern is nice and clear. Easy to read. Of course, there's a lot of confetti in this. Very long pattern. We do have some color blocking up here in the sky. This is a full coverage. Take a look at the colors. Did come with your kit, your thimble, your poof ball. Five needles, I would assume, is generally what these come with. And your needle threader. Sorry, the camera angle. I'm still getting used to which side is which. This is surged all the way around, which is always nice. Sorry, this hand still doesn't really work right. Here is our canvas. All the symbols seem to be in the squares where they're supposed to be. I don't see any bleeding over anywhere. And we've got your key on the side. Very nice. Now we'll look at the threads. Doing it kind of backwards today. Apologize for the crinkling. We do have, let's see here. Shake this out. Two extra hanks and these are colors 3865 which is your base here your, your white and this is a very very light green color and this is going to be 3765 and the 40 on here on this side just means there's 40 40 of these strands in a hank. So we got two of those. I 
I apologize. I've been meaning to make these videos for a while. I've just been been busy. Here's our colors on the first card. One second. A couple of oranges. Lots of blues. It's like a bluish purple. We'll look at our second card. Some greens, some more blues, so purple, I like that purple, and of course this is going to be your 3865, which you got your extra hank for, and this one here is going to be your extra hank for this one, so there's only one, one strand on here, so... I don't remember what the price of this one was. Um, oh wait, maybe I do. This one was eighteen forty nine on DIY Jews. And then we'll look at the European Town one. This, of course, is by Joy Sunday. And this is a 14 count, and it's 174 by 36. And I believe, if I remember it correctly, this one was also around 20 bucks or so from AliExpress. Here's our front sheet without the glare. Again, these are very daunting because they're just so, such large projects. So here's our booklet and we have sixty five colors. We also have three four stitches which I wasn't aware we had any of those in here. These are gonna be French knots. It doesn't say French knot, but I can tell by the symbol, it's a circle with a symbol in it. It's gonna be a French knot. Normal full cross stitches will be in these square symbols. And of course, as you can see, the three fourths ones are only half triangle. And then of course your back stitching, you got four of those. Then you got your full picture to break down the pages of your pattern. And that's broke down into 20 pages. And of course, like always, Joy Sunday does a good job. Very easy to read. Oh, and if I didn't mention the Victoria Wharf one, the uh, your pattern your pattern will match your canvas. This one will not. These are all different symbols from what's going to be on your canvas. Enjoy Sunday always does theirs like that. The your pattern will never match your canvas. But very nice. This is a partial. And of course, all this up here won't get done.
And like I said, anybody that is in the stitching community knows these patterns very well. There are lots of us that are doing it. When I will actually start these, I don't know because I have so many other projects. I really would love to at least start this to get a few stitches in. Here are our cards. This does come with two needles. And again, I will probably switch these out. I don't care for these type of cards, especially with a big project like this that you're going to be using for a long time. The way these the floss sits in these, I don't care for these type of cards. So I will most likely switch these out. Here's the colors on the first one. There are colors on the second card. There's the colors on our third card. And these are extra. So you got 65 listed twice. These are just extra, extra of the white. I think that's the only extra ones. Yeah, it looks like that's the only we have extra of, is just the white. Again, this is a very large piece of canvas. Got the big number down here. This is your stitch count, 900 stitches by 157 stitches. Very nice big key on the bottom. Very easy to read. And these are also very easy to read. Again, this is a partial, none of this upper sky will get done. That'll stay white. And of course, all this will wash out when you're done with your project. The grid lines will go away. All this color will go away. All the squares seem to be where they're supposed to be, which is always a plus, because I've gotten some that don't, and it's a pain to try to do it, unless you have to refer back to the chart all the time, which is also a pain. So it's nice that they stay in their squares. There's more your key on the bottom. More of your pattern. So very nice. And again, this is a 14 count. The European town one. I know most, if not a lot of people, are doing this in 11 count. I don't know if the 14 count is a recent thing that they came out with, or people just prefer to do it on 11 count. I prefer to do 11, uh, 14 count if I can get it. I don't mind 11 count, however. I do try to get 14 count if I can get it. It just for me is a little bit easier. So those will be just the two for today. I at least want to get a video done for these because if I do want to start them, I can at least start them. I do have other ones I still need to do videos for, but I really wanted to get these two out of the way. Um, I'm going to start doing stitch alongs, so I will definitely be doing a stitch along for these patterns. I know a lot of floss tubers are doing 
uh, European town and the Victoria Wharf one. Um, they're taking one day out of the week that they're doing the pattern for video purposes. Um, whether they work on it outside that. Um, but they're choosing certain days to do it. I don't know if I'll do that or I'll just do videos when I want to do videos. I haven't really decided yet. Because there are so many other... There are so many other floss tubers out there doing these patterns. Um, people will just get sick of sick of watching people do the same pattern over multiple floss tubers but that'll be it for today for these two patterns i will be coming out with more videos so make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell that way you know when i come out with more videos make sure you hit all notifications because again it doesn't default to that um put some comments in the comment section if you want to know something more or if you want to see something different, I will definitely try to do that. And it also helps my videos get out there and get seen more. With that being said, I will see you guys next time.